Geekdoms. It's your monk doing another reaction. Today we're reacting to uh, Top 10 Most Disgusting Anime Part 2. This is uploaded by Any Man's channel. Check out Any Man in the descriptions below. Awesome channel. Uh, <laughs> let's, uh, let's just go ahead and get into this. We know that they're disgusting animes and so a whole bunch on with some disgusting moments. Uh, I've seen a few. Uh, I want to say I did watch this part one. And yeah, I'm like, woof, okay. So let's go ahead and just get right into this. Let's see what animes and stuff we put on here. Anime has gone through a lot of changes over the years, and what was seen as taboo ages ago is now just your typical Saturday night anime. Arguably, however, some of these shows are quite messed up with the level of profanity, nudity, death, and overall disgusting themes they bring along with them. Mm -hmm. That's why for today we'll be talking about the top 10 bloody and disgusting anime out there. So before we start, be sure to hit the subscribe button and press on that bell icon and set us all to be notified about all our latest new videos. And of course, it comes without saying, be aware of the following spoilers. Spoilers! Coming in at number 10 is the Ito Junji Collection. Tell me, let's get one thing straight. Horror, gore, and the likes. It isn't my cup of tea, and it never will be. However... When you come by such horror masterpieces, you just have to appreciate the effort put into them and acknowledge the writer's works. Junji Ito is the most prominent horror mangaka in Japan and for a good reason too. I mean, just look at his works. They are just so messed up and terrifying. Yet, when looking at the I don't know if I can show that one. <laughs> simple and creative. Tomie, even though messed up and gross, is one of those works. I mean, seriously, he is tearing off parts of a girl while teaching them anatomy. And mm -hmm. everyone is just calm. Just so calm and collected about it. You can all realize already why this anime is on this list. So let's keep it at that and move on. Okay. Coming in number nine is Aku no Hana. So you're saying this I have to watch. This might not have any gore scenes or messed up kills like the other names on this list. However, this anime excels at showing just how dark the reality of a student can actually get through sheer bullying and blackmailing. Mm -hmm. Kasuga Tako is the main character of the show who, upon a very misfortunate coincidence, became the subject of Nakamura's bullying and blackmail. His life changed forever after he stole the gym clothes of his crush and model student, Saike Nanako. The mental games being deployed in this anime are just top-tier chef kiss quality. Kasuga is such a coward and a dumbass to stand up to Nakamura, and Nakamura takes advantage of that to the utter extreme. Mm. Coming in at number 8 is Belladonna of Sadness. Yeah, this movie is definitely going on my list of stuff that I could have lived a long, happy, prosperous <laughs> life without ever knowing about. 1973, all kinds of stuff for obvious reasons I can't explain or put on YouTube since I don't want to get banned anytime soon. This animated movie was a lot to take in. It's one of those movies that you can't take to face value, and instead, you need to look at the deeper underlying message and the meaning of the scenes. And I gotta say, the underlying meanings, as well as the apparent ones, are grotesque and disgusting. The animators stopped at nothing, and Taboo didn't exist in their dictionary. This messed up movie is one of the most... <laughs> well, what is Taboo? To sit through I don't know. I don't know what Taboo is. Mm. Watching it in itself was just pain. They didn't care situation. back in the day. If you want to check out the anime, they did not course, care. it's up to you. But, I warn you, you're not going to like what you see. Coming in at number 7 is Kimono Zume. This world has many secrets lying in the darkness of the night waiting to pounce on a non-the-wiser passerby and devour his flesh. These secrets are called Shokujinki. These monsters are human-like in appearance, but don't be fooled. They are powerful, creepy looking monsters waiting for you to drop your guard so they can eat you whole mm. and without salt. However, to keep the balance, yet another secret society battles these monsters protecting humans daily. The main character is one of them and the heroine is a monster. Guess what happens next? They fall in love. How so unpredictable, right? The anime is chock filled with death, amputations, and enough blood that could fill up an 80 kilometer long stadium sized pool. What more could you ask for? Right? Coming in at number 6 is Shiguru Death Frenzy. This is one of the most graphic. Is that the word you say when you see brains being spilled out on the floor? I mean, I'm not sure anymore. 
Shigeru oh, is one of the recording many head crash. samurai anime out there that has a story to tell. Boy, what makes it unique, however, is the method it took to tell the story and the epic tale it held. I mean, you don't see every day a one-handed swordsman facing a blind one, do you? The events that led up to their battle are quite interesting to watch. Excluding the brain splattered on the walls, of course, the dark themes add to the overall beauty and story of the anime. Still, though, it's a hella disgusting watch. Coming in at number 5 is Ninja Scroll. After watching this anime, I changed my mind completely about becoming a ninja and gave up the idea completely. Nah. Just kidding. This anime made me want to become a ninja even more. Yeah, there's a lot of blood, profanity, and nudity even, but who cares? If I have these skills the ninjas possess, I am willing to have my life on the line every day. The life of a ninja isn't an easy one, and those that watch this anime already know just how tough being a ninja is. Especially one belonging to one of the most powerful mm. clans, the Iga and the Koga. The guy loses his eyes. Big deal. Poisoned? Tis but a scratch. <laughs> a girl with a snake tattoo that will move and kill you? Yeah. Bring it on. This anime <laughs> had it all. Any method you can think of that includes dismembering, disfiguring, and mostly, well, uh, dying. And this anime has it. Get your notebooks and write down those methods. Who knows when you might need to poison a master assassin coming for you. Coming in at number four is Paranoia Agent. Remember the messed up Perfect Blue anime? One of my guys? favorites when I was younger. Yeah, well. This anime is made by the same guy. So you can just imagine how messed up this anime will be already just by that. The anime revolves around two enigmatic characters that somehow, and for some weird reasons only Satoshi knows, tie back to a weird looking plushie called Marumi. The Golden Skates Glider attacks the creator of the plushie, Marumi, and it seems like nothing but a mugging attack. However, knowing Satoshi, we all already know that this rabbit hole goes even deeper than yes, the it does. about Luffy beating Goku. Oh look. A headless golden skater is coming right at me with a golden broken bat. Nothing weird about that at all, right? Because that's exactly what half the cast in the show did. They just waited there for him to bonk them so hard they almost got isekai <laughs> Coming in number three is Higurashi when they cry. That'd be crazy. Oh, God. I'll send the island to a whole nother world. Bah! <laughs> God, this abomination again. Don't get me wrong. The Higurashi series is one of the greatest horror anime staples out there. This masterpiece inspired a lot of the horror anime we have today. And yes, it's gross as hell. And as I couldn't get into the, it, the newer version, the, the 2020 version. A complicated tale once you um, delve into its details. It isn't just kids killing each other. I was like, I got to see the older one. I, I have to watch the older one because no I'm not really... I every time they didn't die. really feel... With multiple scenes of strong, bloody that violence. That 2020 and version. sequences of brutality, torture, sadism. And murder. Or the reboot, whatever you want to call it. amounts of blood spray throughout with some moderately strong gore. One tiny problem, though, for gore enjoyers. The anime is quite heavily censored, and it's quite the ordeal to find the uncensored versions of the show. You got to admit that this anime is heavy in its gore, gaining a huge reputation for being such a graphic anime. What the rumors sadly couldn't deliver, though, was the fact that the story is enjoyable, fun, thrilling and an absolute masterpiece. Coming in at number two is Paprika. Satoshi Kon coming at us with that hat yes. trick today. Not surprising. He really has issues, guys. Surprise. Not surprising. I mean, just look at his creations. Perfect Blue, Paprika, Paranoia Agent, and many more messed up anime titles. Calling this movie weird, messed up, and outright bizarre is the understatement of the century. Many people watch this movie, and even though they liked it, when you ask them what it was about, they'd be standing in complete and utter silence because it made no sense did, whatsoever. Yeah. And it was honestly one of the most I couldn't tell you not. anime to try and understand. I personally just gave up. Ever heard of an equally complicated movie that no one understood either called Inception? Yeah, well, Inception got its inspirations from none other than yours truly, Paprika by the genius, arguably fucked up in the head Satoshi Kon, the movie Paprika takes place between the real world and the magical dream world people go to escape their stressful daily lives. Sounds familiar? <clears throat> we are. <clears throat> and knowing Satoshi, he just had to merge those two and blend them in together to confuse the sense of self and existence. And number one goes to... Berserk. Berserk. Come on. 
You just knew it was going to be on this list. Because <laughs> frankly, if I didn't add it, no, I set I it up at number one. You oh, tell me why. crucified me and then burned me at the stake, calling me an uncultured heretic. All anime fans, no matter their ages or how long they have been watching anime, know about Guts, his past, and Berserk as a whole. It is just that notorious of an anime. Some call him Daddy, some call him Guts, and others just call him the guy with a big ass sword. Mm -hmm. To me, he is one of the most well written characters in anime history, and one of those that suffered the most in his life. I mean, honestly, who could ever get to the level of fucked up this guy has gone through? And that's before he even hit puberty. Like, what the hell? Ah. Uh -huh. The point is, Gut and Berserk are the shit. If you're looking for gore, profanity, and nudity at its finest, then look no further than Berserk. Because this anime is peak when it comes to all those elements, with a tiny sprinkle of fucked up and childhood trauma, and voila. You got the greatest R-rated anime out there. That was Top 10 Most Disgusting Anime Part 2. Um, I have to see what happened to my stuff because it did crash. But, hey, things happen. I can't really do much about programs and technology and stuff like that. So, it happens. <laughs> but, yeah, it was an interesting list. Uh, um, to tell you the truth, I didn't think about it until I started watching, like, what should, uh, what most likely is going to be on this list. It was a it was a really good list, I think. Uh, some of the older ones I definitely got to check out and see. Some of the ones that's in the back of the top ten, I definitely got to check out and see. Um, yeah, because I, I like some messed up anime, some with some psychological um, things going on. Um, those I tend to gravitate towards um, more than just like the the crazy action. Um, yeah, I think the the crazy messed up stuff kind of keeps my attention. <laughs> but um, the only one was the Hergucci. Oh, her, uh, I forgot what it's called. The number, the number three. I think it was number three. Um, that the twenty twenty version didn't resonate with me. It was like it was some parts that was like really interesting, and then somehow the the story would just seem so weird and out of place that it would take me out of the element that. I'm like, what's what's going on? Other things was all out of order, so it even made it a little muddier. Um, with stuff and I don't know. I was like, I gotta watch the older version um, of it, to, um, cause everyone that I know of really praises the older version more than I hear them praise the newer. But um, but cool list, nice list. Um, y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comments below. If you like this video, please put like on the video. If you like, subscribe. See some more of my videos, please do. Thank you all so much for jumping on. Give me a try. I really do appreciate it. Please do take care of yourselves and each other. Peace, geekdom.